Hey guys, today I am filming the intro for my summer project 10 pan. I am so excited to be able to start working on some new products. And as always with my project pans, you guys know I don't just put in 10 items. I have 15 products that I will be working on for the next three months. And if I can hit my goal on everything, that's great. But I would just like to hit my goal on at least 10 of these products. And I do have a decent variety here for complexion, cheeks, eyes, and lips. So very excited. Some easy things here and then some of the things that will definitely be a little bit more challenging. And I am going to be weighing a lot of the products because I don't think it's going to be as easy to see the progress on some of these. And then for others, I will be marking the product or I will be marking on a piece of paper and I'll be inserting pictures of my paper markings as we go along. So just getting into the products. I told you guys that for all of my seasonal project pans, I will be putting in a little mini Mac Fix Plus. And the one that I'm using for the summer is the coconut version. And this is a one fluid ounce bottle. I have already used this a few times. So I'm not at the very tippy top. I am starting this project out right here. My goal is to finish this completely. Next, I have two primers I would like to use up and I'm going to see how well they work in combination. If they don't work well, I will use them separately. So we'll see about that. So my main focus is my primer that's in my year long project pan that I've neglected all year so far. And this is the Touch and Soul No Problem Primer. It is a one fluid ounce bottle and I am starting out right here. So I have more than three fourths of the product left, which is a lot. And this consistency, is very spreadable so a little bit goes a long way so I am already planning on getting a head start making good progress and then hoping to finish this in my fall project I just feel like it's gonna take me two projects especially if I'm gonna try to use up a mini as well and I am going to weigh that primer as well because it has a little bit of a hard time settling out and it is 3.349 fluid ounces and the other primer I'm going to be using is a little deluxe sample size of the Murad Oil and Pore Control Mattifier. It's something I've used up before, but because this does have SPF in it, it does expire a little bit quicker. But I know it's just like the SPF that's expiring, not the product. But regardless, I do want to use it up this year. The expiry date was actually April 21st, so I'm not using this as my SPF product, so I think it will be fine. And this has five mils or 0.17 fluid ounces. So we'll see what this weighs as well. And this is weighing at 0.234 ounces. Next, I have a foundation combo that I'm using, but only one of the items is actually in this project. The other one I am going to weigh at every update just because I want to see what progress I'm making on that one as well. So the actual foundation of this project is another item for my year long project pan. This is the Catrice HD liquid coverage in number 10 light beige. And I am all the way down here. And as you can see, the product stops right here. So there's not a ton in here. I'm thinking maybe two more months because I did recently get a bunch of new foundations that I'm going to be testing to review this month. So progress is gonna go a little bit slower, but I think in two months this should be used up but a little goes a long way for this one as well. Not going to weigh it. I think we can see the measurement just fine, but my mixer foundation is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte, and I have the shade 100 True Alabaster, and I know I'm still up here in the matte black packaging part, so that's why I'm going to weigh it. So it is a one fluid ounce bottle, but it is weighing at 1.14 ounces. Next, I have a setting powder. This is the travel size of the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. This is something I really love for under eyes and for setting my face, but I do think I will most likely use this up to set my face, but we'll see. I like it for setting in either place, but I did use this today to set my face, and it might just depend on my foundation combination because this does tend to darken my foundation or my concealer a little bit. So we'll just see how my mixtures are turning out from day to day. And I've only used this once and this weighs 9.3 grams or 0.33 ounces. So I'll see what the scale says because it's really hard to 
measure the Laura Mercier powder and I tried to pop the stopper out before and I couldn't do it and a lot of product cakes to the side so I'm gonna be weighing this and it is weighing 1.393 ounces next I have three bronzing type products and the main one that I'm actually really excited about using is a liquid product this is a deluxe size sample of the benefit do the hula liquid bronzer i'm not sure if this is a product that is still available or not but this comes with five mils or 0.16 fluid ounces this is something that i have used before but i do feel like there's still a lot of products left i've just used it here and there not consistently and it is weighing at 0.479 ounces so i'm really curious to see how long that takes to use up i am using this on top of my foundation but under my powder just to apply bronzer in the hollow of my cheeks and up on my forehead around my hairline and i'm actually going to be setting my face probably with powder but then going over top of that with one of the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powders from the Unlocked Palette. I am using this center shade here, Filtered Light. This is definitely too dark for me to use as a powder, but I think it will work nice as a bronzer topper. I can't go in with just any old powder bronzer on top. It'll be too intense on my fair skin. And I did use it today, and I do think it looks nice up here. So I'm gonna be working on this one. And I do think I'll probably work on Soft Light as well. I would love to hit pan on both these. I don't know if it's going to happen, but I will try my best. And I have tried to weigh this and it is too heavy for the scale, but I will show you what it looks like up close. So here are what those two shades look like. I've only used this one a handful of times, so it's still very domed. The Soft Light has flattened out a little bit. So if I could hit pan on those, great, but I just wanna make some good progress and really just get some good use out of it, but I'm not gonna be counting uses. And then you guys knew this was coming. I mentioned this in my spring project. It is a rollover. I have had this in my winter and my spring project, and here it is again in my summer. This is the Benefit Hula Bronzer, and I'm gonna use this as my contour. And this is where I'm starting at. It almost looks like a little bunny, which is kind of cute. And it doesn't look like I have a ton left, but let me tell you all, this is lasting me forever. So right now I'm not having any issue getting my contour brush in here, but depending on how quickly or slowly this is moving, maybe I can have more of an idea at my next update. I do think I might possibly crush this up and use it as a loose bronzer to get through it a little bit quicker because but I've had this forever. It's taken me so long to get through. So we'll see what I end up doing. But I would love to not roll this into my fall project if I don't have to. But we'll see. Hey guys, I am jumping in because I forgot to mention one of my other face products. And it would be my setting spray. This is the MAC Fix Plus Matte Setting Spray. It's a 3.4 fluid ounce bottle. This is in my year long project pan. I'll have that playlist linked in the cards. So this first line is where I was at the beginning of the year, but the second line is where I'm starting for this project. And I have somewhere between a half and two thirds of the bottle left, which is a lot of setting spray to try to get through in just a few months. And I'm fully anticipating that this is going to take me through my fall project, which is totally fine, but I want to start using it in summer because the sooner I can finish it, the better I want to make sure that I finish it this year. And it's a really nice formula for summer and fall. So we'll see how much progress I'm able to make in this project. Then I have three eye products. The first is this mini Bobbi Brown shadow stick in the shade Golden Pink, which is a very pretty rose gold color i have used this a few times but this is how much product that i'm starting with and i only plan on using this visible product i don't plan on scooping into the packaging i actually have another idea for that remainder but if this does come loose from the base and the nubbin falls out i will squish that into a sample jar and apply that that way it can really feel like i'm getting my money's worth but you can see where I'm at on the screen. But this is a great base, will go well with all other eyeshadows. And if I have to roll this into my fall project, I will do that to finish it, but it would be great if I could do it in spring. And then I have my second rollover product and that would be an eyeshadow. And that would be my Anastasia eyeshadow in Birkin, which is this shade here. It's an amazing transition color. 
and I've already repressed it. I've hit pan on the repressed version. I would like to finish it completely. And I do often pair it with Bengal as a crease color. So that's why I have the both of these in this palette, but I'm just focusing on Birkin. And my last eye product is actually a rollover from last year. This is the Maybelline Lasting Drama Eyeliner and Striking Copper. I actually have a backup of this, so I would really like to get this little nub used up. And this is how much I have left. This bottom part down here is plastic, so it's not going to sharpen down that far. But this is very pigmented, and I don't have to sharpen it after every use because I'm just going to put this on my lower lash line. And because it is such a creamy formula, I don't have to sharpen it often. And I feel like a lot of people are able to get through pencil liners because they sharpen maybe a little more than they need to. And I don't want to do that. Love, love this product. And again, if I had to roll it over into fall, I could, but I don't want to. And then we have three lip products. So for my lip balm, I'm going to be working on this little mini NARS Afterglow Lip Balm in the Laguna shade. This is part of the Sephora birthday gift this year. I've only used it once because I wanted to see how the color looked on me. And it is very sheer, so I am able to make it work. But I kind of wish they had the orgasm shade in here. I think that may have been a little bit more universal, but maybe that's just me saying that as a fair complected person. But I will make sure to track my markings on a piece of paper and we'll see how hydrating this is as a balm. Then I have what I'm wearing on my lips now, which is a deluxe size sample of the Rare Beauty Liquid Lip Balm in the nearly neutral shade. This comes with 0 0.047 fluid ounces. And it is super teeny tiny. And I actually kind of like the color of this one. This one seems to have more color than the apricot shade that I used previously. But I had tested and returned. But we'll see what this weighs. And my scale says this is weighing at 0.185 fluid ounces. I will definitely pop the stopper. I'm hoping to have that finished by my first update. But we'll see. As long as it's finished by the finale, I'll be fine. And I do want to balance out using that with the other lip product which is also in my year-long project pan. I thought about putting this in my fall project but I really don't know how long it's going to take me to use it up so I figured I might as well start in summer to be on the safe side. And this is the Sephora Melting Lip Click in number one caramel and it's a very pretty shade. I have no idea how much product is in here because it is like a click up product that does not twist back down or anything. Very, very pretty color. I'll wear this in my next update. I wanted to wear the Rare Beauty today just in case it's not hanging around at my next update. But this is not a long wearing lip product at all. I do have to reapply it very often. So I'm hoping that will help me get through it. This has 1.5 grams or 0 0.052 ounces, but we'll see what the scale says. And my scale says that it weighs 0 0.442 ounces. So I have weighed way more products in this project than I have in any other project. So I'm hoping that the weights will show some sort of progress, make some sense to me. I don't really know what will be considered like good progress with the weights, but I'm just hoping to see the numbers go down a bit. I'm really excited to use all these products. I'm hoping they'll work really well together. I'm wearing a lot of them on my face today and I'm hoping to use up these things and hit pan and make good progress. I was pretty successful in my spring project pan, which I'll link in the cards in case you didn't see it. So I'm, I'm definitely motivated for summer and I will be starting back at work first week in July, but I will still be working from home. So I'm not gonna wear makeup every day, but hopefully I can make myself wear it a little bit more than just for filming videos. I know I'll wear my lip products at least. So We'll see how all of that goes. And I'm not set to go back into the office until September, but it might be pushed back even further. So we'll see. But anyway, guys, I would love to know what items you are painting currently, what projects you're doing currently. I would love to hear your thoughts on these products in the comments down below. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys.